Welcome to my Atari ST Nostalgia Trip and it's another one in my mini Sega Summer Tour and it's another beat em up but this time not with ducks with boxing gloves like last week no this time I'm going with tough warriors out to defeat the evil death adder and yes it is Golden Axe and I have a confession to make I did play Golden Axe back in the day but actually I have never played this game on the Atari ST I only played it on PC so I am genuinely curious how good or bad this port is going to be. The reviews were mostly very positive, so I am actually quite looking forward to this one. So let's not waste any time, start the game up and see how much I'm going to enjoy this one. So here we are, and as you can see, I am playing a cracked version um, because it only uses one disc, so I don't have to swap discs. And I'm also going to use my emulator to actually prevent long loading times because this game tends to load quite a bit uh, within levels. And we don't want to be waiting for that. Um, this also has a trainer option which I'm not going to use. I'm going to press the space bar and as you can see yeah, it goes to the loading screen really really quickly but that one wasn't that impressive anyway. But what I do like is this, how the game presents itself. It's very nicely done. It's sort of smooth and slick and you see that other and then our three characters that you can use in battle. Um, who all lost family members on the hands of uh, that Adder. And I, I love the way the game presents itself. It's so simple but so slick. It's very effective. So the programmers seem to be making the right choices. Let's hope they kept making the right choices while doing the gameplay. Because I am going to choose a character. Here we go, and look at that skeleton, it, I don't know, it, it looks really nice, the game. And I can choose my, my character, um, and since this game is, is called Golden Axe, of course I'm going to, to choose the character with the Golden Axe. Uh, it also decreases the volume of the music slightly uh, while being in-game. So I'm going to increase it slightly again. But yeah, I'm going to play with the Dwarf with a big, big axe, because how can I not choose that one? Yeah, and as you can see, this is clearly a cracked version with everything crammed on one disc. And oh no, Alex, what has happened? His Majesty and the Prince have been taken by Death Adder. Revenge them for me, my friend. And of course our dear Alex uh, dies, and yeah, you can see I can move in all eight directions, which is nice, and I can do attacks. And I can do, I, I, I don't know, in battle I can do probably some, um, some running attacks. I don't know exactly how the controls work, I, I, I do know I can jump and just jump while slashing my axe, which is my favorite move in the game. And I think the guy chooses his attacks based on how far you are from the enemy. Um, so I'm just smashing away at my fire button. And, and I must say, yeah, the gameplay feels very good. I'm supposed to progress through the game. And, oh. Sorry, I was also looking at my notes at how the controls are supposed to work, but maybe I should just be slashing like a crazy at my fire button and don't care too much. Yeah, that works much better. Yeah, that's the best way to play this game. Just use your fire button a lot while changing direction. But I do like how they, they made the digital sound effects and they also made the music a bit softer. So the sound effects are actually audible better. And I kick these little, little guys uh, to get some potions, to get some magic. So now I'm magic level two. And I'm not going to use the magic at the moment. 
But I won't need this for. Come on, you. Come on, you. Do. Oh, that was not very good. Oh, I lost a life. That's. I shouldn't be losing life like that. And I like how he also just throws the guys. Yeah! Oh, no, 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 don't steal back my... I like how you can steal the... Oh, what? That's better. There you go. And, and I will admit the scrolling does look kind of awful, uh, which is probably a sacrifice they made because the ST has its limitations. Um, but I think it was the right sacrifice to make because they were purely concentrating on actually uh, optimizing the gameplay experience, which they did really well, I really must say. Yeah, and I, oh, now you're going down. Come here then. Okay, I had enough magic now. Oh! Okay, I lost my little creature. Sorry, I'm probably pressing my fire button a bit too much, but... Who cares? Yeah, you can't run. Oh, no, I shouldn't be doing that. There you go. Yeah, I, I, I'm still not quite used to the control, so I'm still... basically just firing my... Uh, using my fire button way too much, probably. So I apologize for that. But I think that, that's the nice thing of this game. Even when you are sort of uh, not playing it completely right. Because you're swinging axes, so it's, it's so fun. Bam, there you go. Ooh. Yeah, and it's in between, you can see it, it's loading uh, all the time. Um, so on an on a, on a actual ST, this, this loading might take quite long from time to time. Yeah, and I can, I think I can use my magic here. Yeah, that instantly killed them. See, I kept my magic for the boss fight because those were two really big dudes. And you immediately get a chance to actually get it. What, don't, don't run away from me, you stupid creature. Yeah, again. I was gonna say. You can only get two potions from him, I think, then he immediately runs away. And that took me a bit longer than I was supposed to. But that's the end of level one and you get to the map and say, our sworn enemy, Death Adder, is in his castle. We will take a shortcut through the Turtle Village. Okay. And this, this being a beat-em-up game, it should be the Ninja Turtles, but probably not. But, yeah, I must say, this Atari ST version, considering the limitations of the ST, is really, really well made. Especially compared to the Alpha Beast port I played a few weeks ago. This, this one plays so much better. And I haven't even tried to play a co-op, which you can also do in this game, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure if this port also does it. Yeah, I think my tactic is just jump and just smash like crazy. That seems to be quite an effective way to attack them. Ugh. 
Okay, and the quality of the sound effect is not that good. Um, but it's good enough. I think they made everything uh, good enough to provide as, as best a, a gameplay experience as they could. Oh, that's not good. Why did I do that? That cost me a life. Ah. And, and again, sorry about the, the fire button bashing. That's just because I, I... Yeah, normally I would probably take some time to practice the controls, but I like to go in blind. Like, how does a game play? If you've never played it, you just... How are first impressions? And... I'm also, I also went a bit quiet, and that's because I'm being sucked into this game. I think this game is really well made. Woo, what? I have no idea if I was supposed to kill these, or if they were refugees. So if I was slashing my accident while I wasn't supposed to, sorry about that. Yeah, and I'm probably not playing this, this game anyway, but... Even, yeah, just hacking and slashing at random enemies, it's... Oh, what? Did that thing breathe fire? Oh, yes it did. No, oh, stop doing that. Damn it, I wanted to jump, but I was too late. Wait! Yeah! I was gonna say, I want to have this one. Oh! How can I... That was really dumb. How am I missing them? What? Okay, sorry about the lack of gameplay skills. That was probably really, really bad. Score that, what? Okay. Apparently I scored a 45. Whatever that means. But, I'm sorry, let, let me tone down the music a little bit. But that was, that was really good. I want to play more, which I'm not going to do, because the video will get way too long. But it's it's really... I mean, I haven't even really gotten hang of, uh, um, gotten hang of the controls yet. And I can imagine, with two-player call, this one is going to be so much better. And it, it's... Even if you play this game wrong, like I did, it is still very enjoyable because of the... The way they optimize the gameplay experience, I really have to compliment them. Compliment them. This game, this game is so well done. I have to admit, um, this one also gets repetitive really fast. Um, but the relative smoothness shows why the Sega arcades probably were also so popular. Their gameplay was also so smooth with these used sprites that it felt like you were advancing into the future of gaming. And they've sort of ported over this feeling to this game. Even if it's no way as smooth as the arcade, it's all just smooth and engaging enough to I think they find the optimum spot of gameplay on the ST, and I think that's very, very well done. And I'm also really glad to finally end the video with a really, really great feeling again, because that has been a while. And even if it is for only casual gaming, this one is a must for any retro gaming party, I have to say that. It is highly, highly recommended by me. And with that, I would like to thank you for watching.